is the American dream still alive? My name's Grant Cardone, and I took on a challenge to build a million dollar business in 90 days in a small town in Colorado during COVID. Your COVID test came back positive. Without using my name, without using a credit card, and without using any of my contacts. This is anxiety right here. This is suicide mission. With only $100 an old truck and a cell phone, I got to build a million dollar business in a town I've never been to. It's hard when you got money. It's impossible when you don't. Follow along behind the scenes of Undercover Billionaire. What they didn't show you, couldn't show you, wouldn't show you. I'm going to show you right here, right now. going at it, huh? No wonder the feed's going so fast. Just dominate in Pueblo. That's what I need to do. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. And I just want to tell you, man, notice how good a shape I'm getting in. They didn't show you how I was doing that. Well, I was vegan. I was eating lean and I was working out twice a day in the tree. That's right. I was back in the tree with the squirrel and the cat, just banging out pull-ups, push-ups. I was hitting it hard. If I wasn't mowing the lawn, sweeping, moving the swing set, getting rid of the ants, I was freaking pumping. Pumping what? Tree limbs. That's all I had. You guys that think you need to go to the gym to work out, guess what? You don't need to do that. You just need to be committed to the workout. I'm shredding up while I'm in Pueblo eating all that good DeSantis for food that I was stealing <laughs> and just pumping out the tree. I got my printer, man. I'm making moves. I'm so bold. I got a printer. Look, at first, when I got here, I had my sights set on landing 15 to 20 clients. I only have two signed right now and 16 days left. I don't see me accomplishing the actual goal, but I have to land at least five more deals before the 90 days to hit my million dollar math. Look, before I tackle the math and before I tackle more customers, I met with my team and they're pissed at me. They're saying I'm not communicating right. I need a mechanic. So I stayed up all night writing out a 55 page Bible for marketing so that we can wake up Pueblo, wake up the businesses and actually deliver. This. I know nothing about. Last time I did this, I was 30 years old. How does it work? Printers and scanners. Oh, I appreciate the people at my office so much right now. I don't know how to download an app onto my computer. If you're having trouble, <laughs> select all squares with traffic lights. It gets me every time. I am not a robot. Let's load some paper. Paper's gonna be down here, maybe? Is that the paper? <laughs> ink, where's the ink door, man? I don't know where the ink door is, bro. Or is this the ink door? That might be the ink door right there. I mean, why didn't they just say on the top of this son of a bitch? Now what do I do? Sure do. Does I take that off? Does this come off? This gotta go in there somewhere. Oh. It's easy. Print something. Oh my, God. let me just print something else here. Okay, good. If you guys don't mind, I got some work to do. I gotta salvage this team. You need some help? You're impressive already. Happy Monday. Look, I told Matt before and I told the team, quit worrying about the damn details. Sell the ideas, close on the ideas. The deals matter more than the delivery right now because if I don't have deals, we got nothing to deliver and I won't hit my valuation, okay? When it comes to the team, clearly this team needs details. They need to know what they're doing, when they're doing it, how they're doing it because they don't trust me. So I'm passing out the promo Bible to the team to spell out the details of Wake Up Pueblo. Ooh, binders. This will be our Bible to operate and run our business. I also told Matt, bring in some of the Snap Fitness and Snooze Mattress employees. Pay attention, boys and girls. Last night, I worked 
until the wee hours of the morning because I've been building this thing in my mind and, and not giving you guys what you need. Yeah, you guys are nodding your head right here. Please, please. So like, like literally, we built a rocket ship, okay? And, and now, now, now everybody's got to figure out how do we fly this thing? And then how do we land it? Everybody's going to get a book. This will be your wake up Pueblo manual. It clearly spells out your goals, your duties, your strategies for this business to be successful. The whole booklet, the 55 pages, goes over. Quotes, memes, ideas, subject lines, tags, titles, how to make a video interesting, how to interview the client, how to interview an employee, how to interview the customer. If I'm just gonna go over a couple pages, we're definitely not gonna do the whole 57 pages today. The first three rules of business are promote, promote, promote. There's nothing more important than promotion. Number two, marketing is senior to sales and the first step of the business cycle. Money follows attention. Whoever gets the most attention always wins the money game. Three, the best known will always beat the best. The best known mattress guy in town will beat the best mattress. See, they're just, they're not better products. You understand what I'm saying? The people that we're selling do not have a problem with the amount of money because they want to get known over all these platforms and they also know that they cannot spend $10,000 in advertising in this town. If I bought $10,000 in newspaper ads, well, where would it go? $10,000 would buy maybe, maybe five to 10,000 direct mail pieces one time. We're gonna do this on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok if they want it, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google Business for 10 grand a month. You've laid it out beautifully in terms of the strategy. We definitely need to stand out in terms of like Pueblo status along with this business. So I don't mind doing something out of the box. Yes, when you promote, it, it, it's gotta be exaggerated. Like, exaggerated is not a bad word. Our group has to have the intention. Drive traffic, sell something for the customer. Okay, repeat that, the cycle. Okay, questions? I do have a question, actually. So, um, with the social media packages, they get four videos a month, right? Like, are you expecting that we post every day for every client? So, we should be posting for people three times a day. So, the frequency and the consistency is what works. One, one or the other does not work. It's a very daunting task. It'll be overwhelming, but I think it'll, it'll be for good. We're gonna need some systems in place for yeah, that, definitely. We need systems, yeah. and that, that, that's the point. And one crucial system is taking care of our content that includes pictures, video, podcast recordings. So treat that like it's gold. Somebody's gotta make sure that content gets downloaded, not he's going home with it. Like taboo, super taboo. You cannot go home, dude. I don't care what time it is. You gotta download this. So we archive it and it needs to be protected because we got a client that's depending on it. So the walk away is huge opportunity, fun business, always changing. We could make a monster splash in Pueblo and, and Colorado. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. We needed direction and uh, it seems like Lewis gets that. So uh, we finally have kind of a path and create this like beautiful manual, which is also unique to our product. So, but I do feel a lot better about where we're headed. It's go time. Here Thanks we go. Thanks for all the work you guys Thanks for everything you've been doing on this, this weekend. Look, my team apparently doesn't hate me anymore. Glad that's all cleared up with them. Now tomorrow, it's our first time filming with a client, First Oak Bank. We got to deliver on this. I, I got to sign five more companies like First Oak to hit my valuation. 90 days is almost up. The pressure's on. Execution is the beast. I got to deliver. All right, I'm going to go get the tripod. I'll be right back. We have our very first promo shoot today. That's with First Oak. That's a $120,000 contract, 10000 a month times 12. I'm gonna take a hands-off approach today and just watch the team produce through the shoot. Hopefully they've all read through the promotional Bible that I spent all night creating for them. They know what's expected, so I wanna see how they handle this on their own so that when I leave here, they can do exactly what I did here. I got it whenever you're ready. You feel good? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We are here with Randy. What do you like most about working here at First Oak? Uh, First Oak Bank. It's very inviting as a new person coming here. Uh, I've been here for eight months now, and it feels like I've been here for 15. You know, the, where I came from, I was there for 15 years, but I feel more at home here already. I feel like I have a strong connection with the employees here. I feel like when it comes to the decision-making, I'm- Me, are you okay? okay? Yeah, I just don't like the set. I'm just trying to figure out, like, if we do, like, a second half, because it's pretty planned. 
if they want to show the, the culture of the company, I feel like that doesn't show it yet. So I'm just trying to figure out where I can do it otherwise. Mia's extremely disciplined, mentally organized, and very detail-oriented. She's also present because she's noticing that the backdrop of this interview isn't as good as it could be. I don't know if this is all right, but I also wanted to make sure that the video, even your interview, kind of represents the culture of your company because I think some of the future questions are really going to focus on uh, what makes you different. So I was wondering if you guys would be okay moving to the other area over there just because I feel like that kind of decor represents your business. Trust where you, one, where are you I was going to move them into the lobby. So there's a couch area. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah and yeah. I think it would look nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, mm -hmm. you're great. Okay. It's just, I don't know where it's, it is. It's right. a little flat. I yeah. moved it here yeah. just because yeah. I didn't yeah. want to get in the way. But... Great, Mia. That's right, a quick break. Okay. Quick break. Perfect. I'm so glad that Mia took charge of that. It shows me that she cares about her work. She's a professional and wants to provide the best for our clients. If you're back here and he's sitting right there, and you got this the, all, this depth. Good. That puts me at ease because I want this business to work well beyond my time here. With people like me on board, Wake Up Pueblo could be a massive success. Are we good? I'm just... Oh, we're rolling. We are rolling, okay. Tell me your mission or vision of this company. We pride ourselves on being a family-owned bank. The employees would say it's a very much a family environment. This is a great shot. This was a good change. That guy's impressed right now. He's happy. If I can sell a bank, deliver to a bank, give quality to a bank, and make a banker happy, <laughs> prostitutes can't even make bankers happy. If you can make a banker happy, man, you can make any customer happy. It's going to be good. Awesome. Well, we will let you get back to work. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You did great. We'll see you again. We're going to do a lot more of these. Yes, we will be in touch. Awesome job. How would you rate that? We need improvement. Yeah. But, hey, I'm hard. I'd give that at least a B plus. Our first official shoot is in the can, as they say in Hollywood. And it feels so good to finally be delivering for our first clients. You rolling out here? You late, huh? Yeah, I got class. Thank like you, Mia. The team is back on track, and we're going to keep that momentum going. We're going to show that Wake Up Pueblo is going to take the promo game to the whole nother 10x level, maybe even nationwide. We got something here, boys and girls. That side, I'll get this side. Look, after a few days of sitting here waiting to hear back from the owners of Oneida, we found out this morning Matt's offer was accepted. Now we can declare this place the Wake Up Pueblo headquarters. I convinced Matt to do this, buy this property rather than lease it. I showed him how to buy a million dollar building with 80 grand. We're gonna put leases on the property with Wake Up Pueblo and then bring up the other leases of the other tenants here. We got choices now. We can totally transform this space and reflect the Wake Up brand is a big 10X brand. Wake Up Pueblo. We're gonna need renovations. Gotta build the clients, gotta manage the clients, gotta continue to create content, gotta edit the content. A lot going on in the startup, let's roll. Oh yeah. This is home. It's gonna be a cool room. It's gonna be a cool space. We should have a grand opening, okay? This is a great way to land more clients, bring in prospects, and get our team solidified. I say party for profits. Events like grand openings that bring in business owners and prospects. Dude, treat this like an opportunity to make some bank. This place is gonna be a promotional, producing, profitable machine with spots to film, edit, record. By hosting a grand opening, we'll get potential prospects and clients to see all that they can possibly do. Maybe they'll even say, damn, these guys are professionals. I gotta hire them. How about a grand opening in two weeks? I've thought since day one of that. Lewis is just always so high strung and so high speed. Yeah, we are definitely on a time crunch and he is a time crunch pusher. And to Lewis's defense, getting this building ready is a big deal because it's all about the customer and getting those guys in the door and making that first impression. So it's game on. I'm excited. Let's do this. Thankfully, Matt's on board and gets that this event will expand our client customer base and bring us more Bankola. Plus, I got an evaluator coming in in just 13 days. So this place needs to look like $10 million. If we're going to renovate, what's the best time? I say now is the best time to start some demo. Let's have some fun. I know you're dying to break something, aren't you? No, no, I'm not. Mm -mm. No? I don't think you're, you're not ready to tear something up? Go for it. Man, I'll watch you. Oh, yeah. That's complicated. Come on, guys. Ooh, that ain't happening there. Come on, get a shot. Get, you got to get yours in. Whoa, you're oh. going hands. No, huh? I, I thought about it. 
Whoa. I like it. Yeah. Jenny, come on. You got to get one, on. Jenny. Oh, Put I a was, hole in the wall. I was trying to find y'all something to, to use besides a brick. Look at that. Look we were a little bit excited. We got shovels, and we started breaking walls down. Credit shopping. You got it. Wake up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And I was like, all right, here we go, game on. Let's do this. Let's wake up. So some blood, sweat, and tears in there. I got band-aids and bruises and bloody shirts. I had to go change because of it. So. And she's down. Yeah, it's a good day. Who needs here. a contractor? <laughs> it's Matt's building, so he'll have to put the bill to knock these walls down. We're going to have to get new floors, get new walls. We're going to put fresh coat out there. I need to make this place look like it's worth 10 million bucks. But we got to keep the renovations to a minimum. We got to start getting clients so Matt doesn't feel like he's bleeding out. No time like right now, huh? I think uh, it's officially our spot. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, huh? Watch, I bet you these, these, these socks don't even match. Nope, they don't. Most people would go in there and look for the other one matcher. I don't have time. I'm losing it today, bro. There's remodeling to do on the Wake Up Pueblo building, but right now, we're a promo business with only two clients. Look, if I only have two clients, I'm gonna lose my brand as the 10X man. When the evaluator comes out here, he's gonna laugh in my face, and so will the rest of the world. Haters gonna be hating. They gonna be just hating on my I'm excited. I got 12 days left, but I'm trying to pick up at least five more clients. Five more clients gets me another 600K on the books. Today I'm meeting with Joe Carcentino, who owns a construction company in Pueblo, to pitch him on the promo package. He actually built both Matt's business properties. Since they already have a great relationship, hopefully Matt can close this deal. What's happening? What's up, man? How are you? How are you? Doing? Good, how are you? Wild man. Lewis. How are you doing? Lewis? Joe. Pleasure. Joe. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Joe. Good to meet you. How are you today? Good, sir. I'm the owner of Corsentino Construction. We've been in business for about 25 years. We're in the general contracting construction is what we do. Lewis helped do some campaigns at Snap and at Snooze that were just totally outside the box. So together, we're going to go out and wake up Pueblo. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. So what are you doing for marketing now? Really, it's pretty much word of mouth. Like we make sure we have signs on all the trucks that we own. We get into organizations or into groups around town and stuff. You know, you're networking and stuff. And that's that's pretty much really what it is. As far as a construction company goes. Yes. You know, now when we get into our still buildings, that's a whole nother business. That is a sales-based company. The building comes as a prefab building. They're uh -huh. called pre-engineered metal buildings. So those show up on a truck, and it's um, the whole entire building. Is that a good business? Is that, yeah, it really is. Yeah. How do you advertise for that? Um, it's just all internet-based. Yeah, that's, that's truly all that is. That's what we do. I love Joe, man, what a cool dude. But what are you doing, man? He's the perfect example of why this, this service is so needed, not just here, but everywhere. He does not know how to market his company. When you Google pre-engineered metal buildings, we come up, Bighorn, you'll see this, Bighorn Steel Buildings, it'll be there. But we want it to come up everywhere. He keeps running up the same problem many businesses do when they scale, which is, look, I grow so much that I don't have the employees to deliver the next level of service. If you have a good product and a good service, you have to tell people. Joe, for five grand a month, we can manage and create content for your social media to get your company noticed across the internet. Would you spend 60 grand a year to do that? 60,000 a year. Yeah, 5,000 a month. For, whoa. Mm, boy, that's a lot of money. We're talking branding you, we're talking podcast. $60,000. Um, this is my whole theory. You know, if I spend 60,000 a year and it doesn't work, then I want some money back. So say we spend twenty thousand dollars in four months. Yeah, you'll, you'll get you'll get all that back. Hundred percent. You get all oh, that. Back. We're, we're going to use social media rather than being used by it. Yeah. You could not go personally do this for thirty thousand dollars in a year. It would cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to produce this yourself, not counting your time. Uh huh. 
I still think that sixty grand is a lot of money. It's spend. not sixty. It's five, five thousand a month. Grand a month. Five grand a month. That's all we're asking. That's cheap. It's five grand a month. You'll okay. get that ROI. Let's do the sixty grand. Oh yeah. Five thousand a month. And then at four months, if you're not happy, you come out of the deal. I mean, if you in? Are you in? I, I really am. Okay. I, yeah. I still like to read the newspaper. So all this advertising and everything that you see on social media and the internet all the time is not like my forte. So with this opportunity, we'll be able to expand our sales and to generate more dollars for our company. On a side note, we need you over at our building. Can you look at some stuff we need to get done? Sounds good. I think Lewis and I would have been there for another hour if we had to, to make sure that we overcame all the objections. But the more that we threw it out there, the more he gave it. I think he's, yeah, he's 100% bought in and it's a need, so. Great meeting you, okay? Hey, same thing. Right. Right. Okay. Look forward to getting to know you and your family better. Is Lewis here? Not yet. We had a successful first promo shoot. I landed a new client, and now i got to focus some attention on our new headquarters. There's so much going on with the startup. It's crazy. That's why I don't do them anymore. This building, this building we have is centrally located. On the side of the wall, it's like a giant free real estate billboard. I need to start branding the building right now to wake up Pueblo. Come over here, wake up! I think a mural could do just the trick. Jenny got in touch with her artist friend, Terry. She filled him in on what our business is all about, and we're meeting with him today to see what he can create. We went to college together. No. Really? Yeah, we went through the education program. Okay. And then I was a teacher until last, well, until May. So I've been doing murals for about 13 years. This is about the same time I started teaching. Jenny messaged me and asked me if I could do a mural ASAP. Can we see what you got? Yeah. Ready to wake up this community. This really says a lot about what we're doing. I love this. And wake up. It's huge. Wake up, Pablo. I love this. I love the microphone. I love it. It's brilliant. Above the above that door on air. Freaking, you're sick, man. You're a sick man. <laughs> Terry's got the vision. He seems like a good guy, and the sketch really shows off. What Wake Up Pueblo does. Everything yeah. about this is what yeah, we were thinking. Right. This is it. This is the visual. This is perfect. Bro, it's, it's, it's brilliant. It's going to attract a lot of people from a lot of places. Maybe they'll even take selfies of themselves in front of the mural. They'll post it on their own social media and get us a lot of free promo. This could be awesome. If you guys think of anything else that you want to add to that. Yeah, we got a little bit of space to work with, but yeah. I love overall this is perfect. You got to put your signature on yeah, it somewhere. Going to, yeah. So, and he also wanted to put the date of birth of your sister. Oh, I didn't talk to you about that. What happened? Oh, she uh, she passed away two weeks ago. Sorry to hear that, man. How old was she? She was 43. Oh, my oh, gosh. Man. I'm so sorry. Yeah. My sister, uh, she just uh, went to bed and didn't wake back up. What, what's her name? Jody. Yeah, we got to put her on there, man. So the day I got the message from Jenny, initially I wasn't going to do it. I just needed to take the opportunity to do it and and I could, uh, I could, you know, do something good for Pueblo, so I did it. Were you close to her? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. She was like, uh, she's like my best friend. I know he's hurting from it. I had an older brother, five years older than me, and when I lost him, it just like gutted me. So I think she was more than a sister. She was probably a mentor, and inspiration, and a guide. And so I, I can't imagine what Terry's feeling right now, losing that and showing up. So, you know, we're going to put his sister up on that wall. She'll live there forever. How long do you think it's going to take to do? Like, well, I have a deadline, right? Right. Well, then it's going to probably take to up to the deadline. Okay. So. Look, this lunch was money well spent. We booked a muralist, and I got to meet a good guy like Terry, who's going to crank out his artwork in time for the grand opening in just 11 days. We'll do very well. There's no doubt in my mind. I hope so. All right, no so doubt. we're good to go then. Yep. Yeah, thanks, Thank you, man. Thank you. Matt, you guys get started. I'm, I got to take this. Okay. You do you. Matt and I know the promo business, but construction is not our forte, okay? You got to know what you're good at and what you're not good at. Our new client, Joe's coming in to hopefully be our go-to guy to renovate the building. What did you do? We put some holes. 
Matt just dropped a whole chunk of change on the down payment for this place, so he's got to set that reno budget around 15 k We want to take Joe around to discuss what we're hoping to get done. I don't think there's any way we stay under 15000 not with what I want to get done. So the plan is to tear all of this down, open everything up, paint, get some nice color in here, and then put some new flooring in. Okay. We really wanted to kind of make it have its own original as much as we possibly can. We're trying to bring the old with the new, so as much of the original, that glory that it had before, that Pueblo-ness. This is my favorite part of the whole place. Holy cow. Is this crazy room or what? This is like the coolest part of the entire place. I didn't even know this was back here. These so this would be the podcast room then? And they gotta be, they gotta be soundproof enough for, for two podcasts to be going off. So closing this off, I mean, we don't have to close it, but sealing it, making the noise as best as possible. Okay. And then pulling up all the floors. Where, what are you thinking? Um, I think you're probably pushing 65 to 70. What if we had like 15? <laughs> I'd say you better break out a tool belt. <laughs> We're willing to do that. We can do that. We can bring some helpers. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to need some. Listen, the only way to save on the construction costs is to do some of the heavy lifting ourselves. So I hope the team's willing to get dirty. I am. Their services are going to be needed to take care of the demo work while we still do all the editing, the videoing, and I got to continue to call on customers. So what do we got, like 45 days? Uh, you, got, you got a week, Joe. You have a week. <laughs> what a joke, man. Oh my God, you guys missed so many great things, okay? How about the argument that we had with the channel where I said, hey, why are we spending all this bullshit time, energy, and money on making this place look pretty with the white floor, which was a ridiculous waste of money? I would have never done that, okay? I would have never moved all those walls, never done it. I wouldn't have painted the place. I'd have moved in and started making money. I kept telling these people, look, man, we're going through a pandemic. Nobody's spending money right now, fools. Okay, right now what you do is you make money. All you do is make money. If it had been up to me, all I'd have been doing is banking contracts, Pueblo. I'd have moved up to Colorado Springs and then to Denver. I could have put together tens, 15, 20 million dollars worth of contracts, but instead, the channel wanted me to waste time making TV. I should have been making money. Good lesson for you, good lesson for me. Stay in charge, be in control, know what your game is. Your game is to make money. Unless you're a TV star, make that money, stack them racks.